Hello everyone, this is Mike. I haven't done a computer how to do playing with my computers, but right here I have a Acer Spin 13 and it has the i5-8250U computer or processor, sorry. And what I'm doing here, I have a Chromebook, uh, like I said, and I am going to use the Legacy Boot, not the uh, other boot that you find where you replace the Chromeware or the firmware. I am using Legacy Boot and I haven't seen a lot of videos on how to get Legacy Boot to install Unix or Linux on a drive. So that's what I'm doing today. This is doing Legacy Boot and what you can do, you can go to Mr. Chromebox instead of doing the full firmware, you can have it set up Legacy Boot which is built into Chrome and you can do it manually but it's a lot easier going to Mr. Chromebox because this computer did not work using the full firmware update so it didn't boot correctly and that could be something with this particular computer because um, I've used it in the past and the one thing you, you will run into in a lot of these newer computers or Chromebooks is sound will not work you may have to use Bluetooth and until they figure out a way or, or come up with sound drivers you will probably have to use Bluetooth for headphones for your sound. But other than that, in Mint, everything works. So what I'm doing, as I said, I am putting it on the SD card here. Right here on the side of the SD card right there. Because this particular computer does not have a way to install on a or a removable drive inside. So it's all built in. In fact, Linux sees it as an SD card. So the way Linux sees it, uh, it's like you have two SD cards. So I'm guessing that card inside here is no better than an SD card. It's probably a high value one. But maybe one day you want to, you may want to install a bigger SD card and smash your forward, your storage. And that's one way this particular computer, to me, it makes it a better computer. In fact, the way I'm doing it. Chrome is still there if I want it, uh, but uh, I don't want Chrome right now. Anyway, let's boot it up and see what happens. Okay, you see this familiar screen right there? It doesn't last long because Mr. Chrome walks did it, so it goes away almost right away. And in just a minute, you will see Linux Mint boot up. And there it is, Linux Mint on the SD card. Anyway, I just wanted to show you uh, on it um, what I'm doing here. And I hope you all have a good day and take care. Bye-bye.